we're going to hop right into this video today. The stock we're covering in this video is a highly risky stock, ticker CTMX at $117 million market cap. This is a high, high, high risk investment. I have $16,000 in this stock to stay completely transparent with you guys. It's at a $1.76 average price. It's only up 1% on this position right now. I might be down in this position. And there's a really good chance that I completely lose this entire investment tonight. There's a really good chance that it happens. Keep in mind, just because I have money in this stock does not mean you guys should put money in this stock. I don't even suggest putting any money into this stock at all. I don't suggest to buy, hold, or sell any stock on this channel. I just share my journey with everybody so you guys can see what I'm doing and then I can document what I'm doing so I can improve myself and my investments in the future and maybe it can help you guys do the same. So this is another biotech penny stock that is releasing data tonight. These are the most risky plays in the entire market because if the data comes out bad or even just not what investors expected, the stock can tank and you can completely wipe out your entire investment. So that's what can happen. That's, that's a good possibility that that happens tonight when the data comes out. You can even lose up to 80% or more of your investment in just a single day if the data drops. That happened to IMUX. I saw this happen in real time when it crashed from $11 per share all the way down to $1 per share because they had bad data. It even ran up leading up to the data. And then when it came out, it, it was the exact opposite of what investors expected and it completely tanked. So this can happen on these biotech data drops. The past two have worked out for us. It was VRNA that was discussed at $14 before the data and it's now $25. TGTX was discussed at six to $8. It ended up hitting $12 per share. These past results, do not tell you what CTMX is going to do. And that does not mean this one's going to also do very well, just like the past two that we covered. It means nothing. This is a completely different stock. But I want to go over the due diligence to see why I think this could possibly have good data. On December 22nd, CTMX posted a PR that they plan to outline its pipeline priorities for 2023 and provide a data update for CX 2029 phase two expansion study. That was December 22nd. A Discord member said that he is 99% certain that the data will be positive, but take this with a grain of salt. We, you don't even know this person. I trust this, this, this Discord member because I've been talking to, for a, talking to him for a while. I've seen him make great calls. He was right about VRNA and TGTX, and they both around 50 to 100 percent. But this does not mean he's going to be right again. He can be completely wrong. I can be completely wrong and we can get wiped out. So I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand the high risk in this stock and that this one for CTMX, this is for phase two results. That mean that means that phase one was already positive. So it gives us a much greater chance that phase two will be positive, but anything can happen. He believes that CTMX can be bigger than VRNA and TGTX. And by the way, if you do want to hop in the private Discord, get some of these stock picks early, there is a link in the top pin comment. Go join us over there. We're calling bangers every single day. We called, there was a 200% runner in pre-market. Which one was it? Which one was that banger that we called? It was, it was BLPH. We called that early, right when the news came out. It ended up running like 250%. People made over 100% on that one. It's literally crazy how hot small caps are right now, even with the entire market being red. So that was just a complete side note. Hop in the private Discord, I highly suggest it. But this is the first pro-body cancer treatment platform different than many antibody treatments. So this one can be a lot different than all of the other drugs that are already out there. So if this does have positive results, it could be a huge drug advancement. Remember, the name of this drug is CX2029. If you look at the AbbVie website, 
you will find that CTMX is a company that is conducting the preclinical and early stage development, while Avvi will take over once after CTMX is done doing these trials and then they get it through. There's, there's always that chance, like I've been saying throughout this entire video, that this does not get through and the data fails. But Abby is going to take over after they complete phase three and they get this drug done and then they're going to hand it over to Abby so they can start selling it. Abby is a 290 billion pharmaceutical company. So you would think if Abby is relying on CTMX for these tests, that they would be able to get the job done and get this data positive and get it to Abby, you know, so they can start selling it. They would still. Uh, CTMX still has five or six more cancer drugs in the pipeline as well. They also have a conference book booked on January 11th. Hopefully they booked this conference to plan in advance ahead of the positive results that they could be posting. This is purely hypothetical and they could easily hit us with negative results. Something else that they have is they received a 30 million upfront payment um, from a another very large company. I don't think it was Avi, but another billion dollar pharma company and with the potential for 2 billion in research and development for the milestones that they achieve. So that is also very, very huge. They are cash heavy. They got a lot of cash and di the discord member Mooncatcher, he called out CABA under $1 per share. And he is the one that brought this to my attention. He called this out on November 17th, 2022 and CABA is now $10 per share after you called it under $1. That's a thousand percent return on your investment. You can see he called it right there under a dollar and it's just been grinding higher every single day after they released their positive results. So that is the video today. It's a little bit of a shorter video. I just wanted to bring this on your attention really quick. Make sure you join the private discord. I'm going to be streaming live tomorrow. Make sure you hop over there with me in the private discord. One thing I did want to mention as well, Keep in mind, if you're bag holding a bunch of random penny stocks that, you know, I've talked about in the past or somebody else talked about in the past, you are not forced to hold any stock in this market. That goes for AMC, all these stocks. You're not forced to hold any stock in the market. If you want to, you do you. We YouTubers do not give you financial advice, but I hear a lot of people saying, oh, I'm so frustrated with this stock. I'm so frustrated. Why do why, like, why is it? continuously going down. Why am I holding this stock? You are not forced to hold any stock. You can sell at any point, but if you believe in it, you know, you have to accept that if you sell it very low and it goes up, you have to accept that you took that loss. So do not be afraid to take a loss if you feel like it is necessary. I just wanted to put that out there because I see everybody now and then saying they're getting really frustrated with some of the stocks they're holding. And I just want you to know that you can sell any stock whenever you would like because you make your own financial decision. But I did want to bring ticker CTMX on your radar. And I just want to get this video out here without editing it. And that's it for me. Peace.